Miho, though. It's gonna get a clear tie. Missed it, Miho. Gonna try to center it. No, he goes for the fake. Fakes out Seabass as well, and Miho is gonna put in the first goal for CLG. When you know a team is patient and they're on the back line, you've got all the control in the world, Miho. Yikes. Oh, doing absolutely nothing with that ball. But Miho, he has been the shining light, leading North America in goal participation at 74%. And with plays like that, it's no surprise. Now a chance. Ty, he's going to equalize for Allegiance. Illusion just putting on pressure. Mio thought he had the time, so he went up for this. Tried to push it to the corner, but Illusion read the clear. And Ty Not Tyler was just hawking in the middle. So Allegiance hanging right in there. A win from Miho. He's just going to dunk it into the net. No one back for Allegiance. A little bit of a defensive mishap here from Allegiance. Illusion and Ty Not Tyler not really aware of exactly who is going to get that originally. And then that defender had to watch. Miho even got a bump on a defender on his way out. But with one goal in the lead, they're just trying to keep up this pressure. Only five seconds left. And now Timmy, oh! he's going to put that off the corner of the crossbar in the post, and it bounces in. What a shot from Timmy. A little bit of redemption from that last shot, but my god, what placement this has right into the corner, bouncing straight down. And up to time, Timmy with the block. Seabass on the back wall, clears it downfield. Miho right back into the same spot. Seabass having to challenge that ball there. And now a chance, Timmy. He finds the exact same spot from last game and gets CLG the first goal. It was just touch after touch. Allegiance trying to just react every single time we saw the ball going in. I was and now a chance, breakout opportunity. Dapper has Timmy in the middle. Miho behind him, flicks it by one. That's gonna go off the crossbar and down. Ball still in a dangerous spot. Dapper with the shot that's saved by Seabath. Timmy with the follow up and they finally break through. This onslaught from CLG extends the lead to two. Allegiance just seem to be struggling right now in a lot of ways, but on defense is a way I didn't think I'd see. In that last moment, keep that going, and right off the kickoff, a chance. But Dapper's able to push it out. See if Allegiance can keep up the pressure. Getting it off the kickoff usually works oh, so well, and it does. Timmy, Timmy accidentally owned gold here, Carpet. Timmy trying to come across quickly. This clear forced him to turn around, use a whole lot of boost. It was such a difficult read. Oh, I actually thought Illusion maybe got a little. Trying to get it in a safer spot. Now ball downfield into the orange half. Timmy trying to read it. Does get the bump on Illusion. That ball floating up and a goal for Mijo resulting from that bump play. Timmy destroying Illusion. Look at him. He flies to the moon. He goes all the way across. He thought he had full control, his whole team did. Timmy, he pre-jumped the bump. Now Ty off the ceiling. Trying to chase that down, Illusion getting blocked by Timmy. Now Timmy against Seabass. Beats him out with that dunk, and that's just gonna roll right in. CLG take the lead. We talk about teams that have 1v1 capabilities, and CLG, it's such a treat to watch any of these players go in those 1v1 chances on the defense. Timmy, the first touch, the ops to stop the clear from his opponent. And it goes right into the net, but look oh. at this. A kickoff goal. We see both players for CLG going for boost. That left the net wide open carpet. It's always tough to know who to push on that. Whoever's going for that ball always has some sort of goal. Timmy thought he might get another hit there. I'm a little fearful sometimes of how long it takes Allegiance to get to these defensive oh. touches, but Ty oh. not Tyler. Reminding Timmy that he can strike these as well. And a clutch goal from Ty in a big moment here. Woo. Look at that, right into the corner. A laser beam. Specifically because watching their highlight package, I would have thought they were a striking team. <laughs> and look at this, a response, a kickoff goal, but in favor of CLG. Just what I was talking about. Now that they're not in the lead, that Allegiance have to make up time no matter what. They can't buy into overtime. They can't just try and drag this game on. Keeps possession on the wall. Just blasts it high. I think it's the midfield pressure that I don't really see out of Allegiance. Oh, oh. oh, Miho coming across the middle. Gets to that pass from Timmy and a two goal lead for CLG. Only the second attempt on net, but look at the positioning from Allegiance. All three on the backboard. A stellar shot. That was really 
A great shot from him coming across net. See if Allegiance respond. Timmy gets back in time, gets demoed, and the net wide open for Seabass, who punches it in. The demolition from Allegiance is massive here. Illusion going out for that, and then on his way back, smacking in the corner, removing Timmy from it, one of the last defenders. Wider rotation. Demolition proving strong. This heroic defense by Timmy. He got taken out. Now a chance again. Illusion off the post and in. Allegiance equalized. I'd like to know what happened here from CLG. No one challenging this. Timmy going up, going right back down. He had the boost for it, maybe. He just kind of opted to change his mind. Had he made contact, that would have been it. A very difficult read. And Allegiance, their lives might be running out, though. As we see chance after chance from CLG, a, a win there from Dapper, a dunk, and he's going to put it off the crossbar and in a massive goal for Dapper. And this is where we've seen CLG just keep putting on pressure. It doesn't matter if they feel like they have control. Dapper just challenging Illusion. He challenges him. But Dapper going for the clear, blocked by Ty. Seabass coming in, a shot from Seabass off the backboard. Here we go, though. I'm liking it. Allegiance. Oh, and that might just mid. roll in. Illusion chases it down. CLG, they just vacated the defensive half. Hovering in midfield here. Timmy and Dapper in the... Oh, Dapper. I thought he had that. It looked like he, all he had to do was jump. He would have been able to at least hit that. Illusion touches it out into the corner. Miho takes control. Seabass with the challenge. Timmy coming up. Taking his time, goes for the pass out to Dapper. Dapper with a shot in, and they're going to tie it up. Allegiance, before this play even started, two of them had 10 boosts. Illusion and Seabass had nothing. Ty not Tyler, the last one, and the one rightfully sitting on the backboard getting ready for something. Dapper with a shot. That hits the corner, and Ty comes in to hit it to safety. But again, struggling on boost now. All of Allegiance low. Oh, and Timmy! Flying in from half field, comes in and just to blast this into the net. I mean, this is just textbook. Every time that we see Allegiance come up and not have full mid control or not able to keep control, this is kind of what happens. They will lose a life here. They lose this game. Now, miss from Illusion. Dapper with the shot. That's surely going to secure it for CLG. Two goals up now with 15 seconds. And it's just turning it around, getting control. Illusion not getting the touch he wanted or the touch at all. And Dapper. Had that shot been high, Wonder would not have been able to react, but just barely missing out on contact. Now, good pass from Hato. Johnny over to Licinio. Licinio put it hard off the backboard, needed to put a shot on target. And the net wide open. AJ punishes out of style, and FlyQuest take the lead. And there it is, a great three-man passing play from out of style, immediately punished by no defense. FlyQuest, they can strike from anywhere. AJ. Licinio, he had to put that shot on target. Blasting it off the backboard was the worst thing that he could have done. Hato. A chance here, Licinio coming in, trying to time it, and he makes up for that shot by scoring one here, out of style, equalized. We're not gonna talk about what happened here. Prime Thunder, Prime Thunder missing the first one, and then kind of getting the second one, and then no one really having the boost to the wherewithal or positioning. To be true, at least so far in game one. Prime into the corner. Missed that touch here. Hato's gonna center the ball, and Licinio oh. is there and puts it in. Look at the pace on this shot. Again, getting space. Hato cutting that wide, noticing he's got someone in support. Ooh. AJ on the goal line. FlyQuest retreats, though. Now AJ winning this ball. It's going to go into the corner. Johnny gets a touch. Wonders there on the backboard. Goes for the ball. <laughs> got it. Oh! Paved the way for AJ to knock this in. Just smacking Hato out of the air. You rarely see this wonder. Just looking oh for the my defender. Goodness. Achieves. He just pummeled him right out of the net. That, you know, surprisingly wasn't a demo. But an immediate response. Hato off the kickoff gets out of style the lead. I still struggle to wrap my brain around kickoff goals sometimes. I know they can be happenstance. Hato just following that. Nice and clinical for him. We already have five goals. It's like these teams are following the script that we wrote for them.
now Prime tried to get a touch there. Wonder races to it and somehow finds the angle to get this one in. For a second, I thought Prime Thunder was going to find this angle. Just barely missing out, but it forced Lucino to think wow. twice about his decision. And then Wonder, Wonder was able to outpace him to that shot. Lucino chasing this down. Wonder floating ball up. Prime Thunder couldn't get there in time. A demo from Wonder, net wide open. AJ is going to punch it in and FlyQuest take the lead. The physical plays, getting them this goal to push them in the lead. The first demolition, and then I don't. I actually think Wonder tried to body block as Lachinio came in. Brilliant touch by him. That buys so much time, and he gets the clear. Get the thoughtfulness we're seeing out of FlyQuest. Oh, and an overcommit. Prime Thunder's gonna pad his own stats with that goal steal. I mean, with 25 seconds left, I'd expect out of style to really want to push up for this. So, starting off with a demolition. Hayden Lucinio pushing up a little bit too far. 22 seconds left. Epic Johnny. Hayden, ball into the middle, knocked aside. And that's going to clear time off the clock. We might see one more goal. Wonder sneaks one in under the crossbar and extends the lead to three. You know, I, I don't think these last goals really tell the story. This game, it was very close. Just a battering of the defenses on both sides. And a bigger series. We'll see if FlyQuest can keep it up or if Out of Style can patch up that defense. Already? And we'll see oh! Wonder take advantage. It looks like they cannot find the patches right now, Carpet. Immediately, again, the same punishment for the first goal last time. But this shot from Wonder is still styled actually insane. He styled on him right there. That wasn't going in. Johnny turning on it, centers it, but no one there for Out of Style. Prime Thunder going for a double tap here. But Lachinio broke up the play. A ball centered in from AJ, a beautiful pass. And Wonder takes the lead for FlyQuest. And there it is, the passing plays again. AJ being patient, and then instead of going straight for net or straight off the backboard, he finds Wonder down on the ground. A narrow chance there. Epic Johnny also gets a save, pushing it away from Prime. Lachinio has time, goes for the center ball. Hado with a shot, and the Devo opens up the net and out of style, tie it up. Physical play in return, out of style. Again, the retreating demolition on that final defender. Epic Johnny able to clear out one of the defenders. Epic Johnny just was a little too far beyond the goal. Now Prime centers it. Now an over the head of Wonder. Now a shot in oh. from Lachinio. He just smashes that ball into the net. This series has had some beautiful touches. Look at this shot from Lucinio. And it's not even just about putting it on target. Wonder beating out those defenders. Going to leave it for Prime and gets the corner boost. A demo from AJ. This is a chance. Too much pressure from FlyQuest. And AJ punches in that goal. That demolition onto Lucinio really opened it up here. And all three people from FlyQuest were actually in a better position to play defense than out of style where they were all in their opponent's half. Out of style, did not get the goal. Hado racing to AJ. AJ gets it down to Wonder. And that miss from Hado is just going to allow AJ's shot to bounce right in. I just want to watch Hado's perspective to see exactly what happened here. Oh, no, it wasn't Hado. It was Epic. Epic Johnny. He had boost in everything. FlyQuest playing patient. Essentially just playing the control game. They keep shooting out of style. See if out of style overcommits as they have. Oh, my. <laughs> Over committing, leaving the net open, and just a long shot from AJ. Can't blame him with 15 seconds left, though. Out of style at that point. Hybrid's Kai Reward. Do everything you can, but no one getting the tackle onto AJ's hit. Going to try to follow it up. Does get a second touch there and gets a third hit. Prime up in the air. Look at that shot. He just bashes oh. it into the net. What a counterattack. That air dribble by AJ. This touch from Wonder and Prime Thunder. You know how fast he had to get up in that aerial? But Hado gets the hit straight upwards. Wonder off the wall, going for the pass to AJ. AJ is there and sneaks it in under the crossbar. An incredible passing play. No one on the backboard to challenge this aside from Hado, but once he left that backboard, it was all in the hands of the opponent. And the shot from AJ, the pass across net. Beats out the defense and a demo as well. Final 10 seconds.
Prime Thunder is trying to take time off the clock and a, oh, oh no, a no. miss! And a zero second goal for Epic Johnny and Out of Style, but that still won't be enough. Out of Style fall to FlyQuest, four to two. The light is dimmer than ever. They're not going to be able to get the kickoff for this one. Seabass off the backboard. Illusion just wants to keep that pressure going, but it's going to be a very late half rotation from Tynar Tyler. Ooh, Solution is uh, having Ooh, a bit of a go on the other side, but Tynar Tyler will pick up the first goal of the series. And it kind of comes out of nowhere as well. Lichino, it's a little bit of an awkward battle with himself, just trying to get this dribble started. He goes straight off the ceiling, and his teammate right behind him. Epic Johnny, zero boost, but he's still doing well with this. Could be open, Hato. As the ball played over the top of him, and now it's going to be Tynar Tyler can turn that one in. That's going to be his brace. That is definitely the brace for Tynar Tyler. This is a nice touch up field. Seabass a little bit of double commit, but again, out of style, wide open net. It's a dive from the left hand side from Epic Johnny, but there's no way he's going to make it back. It's just those rotation. No real reason to commit everyone forward unless you are 100% certain you are about to get yourself a goal. Seabass back over to Tynar Tyler. Oh, Why there not we make go. it free? Allegiance styling in game one. And there's a good reason Tynar Tyler leads his team with 70% or 70 shots taken. He scores 30% of the time, and there was a good reason for that. He's waiting for these passes, but at the same time, everybody's grabbing boost. It's not like he has anywhere else to put the ball. It's, what's your best option? Let it roll onto the ground and try and start a dribble and just let Allegiance regroup? Or do you try and push up field quick? This one from Seabass into the top right. Make it 4-0. Allegiance keeping that zero on the side of out of style, but these passing plays are tearing out of style apart every single time. Just seems like the moment out of style. I played you in once, I know. <laughs> I got whipped. Huge block there from Lucian, showing off some of his own one skill. He's got Tynar Tyler. Why not keep Soft. aiming for the man who just can't seem to miss today? Can't seem to miss is right. That's four just in this series. Illusion takes a little time, gives up the boost, and sacrifices it, but to secure the pass. And Epic Johnny, a little bit of a helping hand, but Tynar Tyler, nice job. Now Tynar Tyler, once again on the ball, pushes it up to the corner. This play, Allegiance can keep pulling out individual nice players. Tyler, Tyler, straight down to Illusion. Go get it. And yes! that's gonna be Tyler, Tyler! <laughs> a goal barrage right now! I love it. I, I was thinking to myself, Illusion, if you can just gently knock this one down. Tyler, Tyler, going to get it. Hato, you can try as much as you want. There's no way you're beating a guy who's already just waiting for it to come down. Oh, they're feeling it. I love it. Aggressive uh, Allegiance is a fun Allegiance to watch. You know this is going to result in us complaining about this every single time now in the future. <laughs> Why do we not see that? Oh, it's going to be number six. Two hat-trick in, hat in as many games there for Ty Not Tyler. He's just scoring for fun at this point. And to be fair, this is the same pattern as we saw in game number one. Uh, Illusion. Shinio back up to the corner. It's important that our style find themselves a goal because this is becoming Not quite. an absolute <laughs> demolition job. A fourth goal in this game, eight goals altogether, unanswered from out of style, and they are now coming up on nine minutes with no goals. I mean, you, if you scratch out... Which is still above their average from today, but it's just been the problem. Those saves have been absolutely killer. There's going to be a shot on target. Oh, there there is going to be goal number one. Epic Johnny finds the net. And it has to feel good to finally break this long drought. Lachino just bashes that one off the back wall. Got all the way around it. And normally, you'd expect this pass to come off the corner, and it'd be a much easier read for the team in the net. I wasn't sure if he knew he was there either, but they just jump at things, and they'll just keep it out of the net somehow. Lucian's got plenty of time. Puts it up high for Seabass. Gonna take the yes. shot, it's a <laughs> rocket into the back of the net, five goals to one. And this is a lot of space for Allegiance. It's it's this cross-field pass, nobody's in the midfield, Lachino's grabbing boost in the corner, and the other two players from out of style are back in the net. Power from there, and it's gonna open up Tyler Tyler to just take a shot. Allegiance setting themselves up once again, but they need to be careful of the potential counter-attacks. Out of style had good ideas to start us off, but the execution not quite there, and there's oh. a shot. Illusion into the back of the net. And the placement was very important here. Hato's trying his best to figure out what Ty's gonna do, thinks he has time to grab the boost. That extra split second was the difference maker between that shot going in. Passing options for Allegiance. Exactly. Huge for out of style. They can't afford to go two goals down. They've struggled to get anything beyond one goal on the back of the 
net as Hater it's will open. drop. That's going to be a huge goal for Out of Style. They are back in this game. And this was a big play from Hato here in the midfield. Stays right with it, collects the boost, beats Illusion to that ball. And for once, Allegiance is the people with the net wide open. They were still back in the midfield trying to rotate back. Get boost back on. But it's not going to last uh, long. Seabass over to Illusion. Tries to fake out Hato. And now they're going to try and use the wall one minute now. And it's looking like it's a survival game for Out of Style. A shot All the once way again him. into the back of the net. Tie not Tyler. Gonna pick up his first of this game. And Out of Style, they've got 50 seconds to respond. And unfortunately, that commit coming off of the back wall from Out of Style there, it pushed that defender in the net who would have had the easiest clear. And that challenge right there from Allegiance is one of the reasons that they have an above, or at least equal average from shooting from outside of the box because they create such great challenge angles and how about this one dropped right in front of the net out of style a little bit too slow to come for it and again allegiance right there to capitalize and once again it's allegiance happy to slow down the play in the corner just gets the first touch but it does get blocked oh, this could be dangerous. huge hey to an epic johnny's yeah. gonna be there an epic johnny Gets us one goal apiece. Well, I think we were both kind of just sitting here thinking this, I think, should be cleared by Allegiance, but unfortunately, it's <laughs> Illusion gets right in the way, tips it straight up, and throws off his teammate. So, Seabass with the nice shot save. once again, How but it's the body of Epic Johnny. Tyna Tyna shot right down the middle. But now the onslaught will Seabass? continue. Allegiance yes, keep sir. it going. Seabass makes it 2 1. How bad Allegiance again? This was shot after shot after shot. More double commits from out of style, throwing off the rotation, making it slow to come out of the net. And then the added bonus of Illusion running in there and saying nobody's going to jump for this one. He had a rough go versus CLG. A couple of weird challenges, not the best shooting accuracy, not able to be that real support player that this team needs out of him. And this series around, he has turned it on its head. Oh, what a goal from Seabass! You know, he's just taken the mantle from Ty Not Tyler, who was playing great <laughs> earlier and just showing off some of his own moves. This is an incredible force challenge from him. Prime Thunder playing the shot rather than the man. Just and that stolen. sets up his team. Almost able to put the shot on target. Wonder's probably a little bit disappointed. He's, I've seen him score that plenty of times, but Prime Thunder, he's just gonna drive it through the defense on the line and the first one to FlyQuest. Straight under the defender, took less than a minute and FlyQuest have opened up their scoring tally. Great positioning there from Prime Thunder. No one has ever said they've done bad in scrims, but that's going to be a <laughs> shot. Straight down the middle, still one goal to nothing. Pass straight down. It's going nice to be on shot. target. What a goal there from Miho, the player I said who needed to step up during this series. And it's going to be him and Timmy combining for this. And Timmy gets another assist on the day. And look at that bump in the net from Dapper, forcing him to react to his positioning. Just pushed him out of the way just enough. CLG have put up a very good fight here. They've, they've not struggled too much against that pressure that FlyQuest brought compared to what they showed versus out of style. So we'll see if they can get something done and wonder a little too far forward. Still oh, got the air bar in. Oh, goal there from Dapper. Only took him 24 seconds to break the deadlock. And just like that, counter logic gaming go from one goal down to winning game number one. The gravity effect is what I like to call it when they just sort of float towards the ball without a lot of respect for what could potentially happen. CLG hasn't been able to make anything happen here in game two, but it is definitely something to watch out for from FlyQuest. Oh, Dapper gets dunked on, and Wonder makes it 1-0, exactly as we saw in game one. And Prime Thunder, with that bump on the back ball, made that a very poor clear attempt for CLG. And again, Dapper is just trying to do the best he can with what he's got. Go for blocks these days. They force the challenge rather than try to take it past the player. This is a little bit more assured. That's going to be a bounce that oh, no one nice is sure stretch. on. Apart from Prime Thunder, he's going to make this a two-goal lead. And I was a little bit... Sad to see Prime Thunder not score as much as we did in their first series of the day. Good to see him go and get this one. Says, I don't even care if they make the clear. I'm going to make sure I'm there just in case. Dapper puts it straight back down. It's still not quite a shooting position, though, for Counter Logic Gaming. And now FlyQuest will get another clear. Every single time one of those goes oh, against nice. Counter Logic Gaming, it got wastes more time. Hello. And then we get goals like that. Two goals for Prime Thunder. Great play from AJ in the corner. Great play from AJ. He's exactly right. Just slow plays Dapper. He doesn't have any boost. Mio tries to do the best he can. And Prime Thunder, perfect positioning. Right on the nose and a goal to aim for. 4-0 to FlyQuest. This is the response that they wanted after going down in game number one. But here is nice. CLG. Oh, and that, oh no. Uh, it was turned in by FlyQuest, but I have to say, a play that good does deserve a goal. I don't care how. You are correct. This is a nice pass back from Dapper. Not too greedy with it. It might have went off the bar and in either way, but force a challenge, and he has got it. AJ, the 
backboard once again. Many of these challenges just not going in favor of CLG. Now Wanda, his touch. Not exactly the not best. He could be punished for yep. and he will be Miho. Gonna take this to 4-2, and if Counter Logic Gaming can get a quick goal, maybe they can squeeze this back. They might, but I don't expect FlyQuest to make another blunder like that on defense. I think they come out with this kickoff. Wants to try and get there. That's two players committed, though. But Dapper has recovered in time. Timmy make doubly sure that they are more than safe. But that has got two players behind the ball. AJ off the backboard. That's oh, gonna be a double no. tap. They don't come much better than that. They don't come much better is right. Wonder just chucks this one. It, that is the softest receiving pass you'll ever see. And how about keeping it on a short leash? Right back to yourself. Now Miho wants to get oh. this away. Just going to be Wonder barraging his way through the field. And now AJ just takes what was an incredibly fast-paced part Ooh. and slows Hello. it down. And this is exactly why the ball transitions yes, have been phenomenal. It was... Having a little bit of a thought about going in, and eventually the ball does end up in the net. And that is the most unfortunate of circumstances when you're Timmy coming back into the net right there, because you know you got to stop. And it's going to be Defra and Prime Thunder somehow colliding into one another. Works out better for Prime Thunder because he can now set up Wonder off the backboard. Here's Prime Thunder yet again. Yes, and that is going to be a free goal lead. FlyQuest, exactly as we saw in game number two, pick up the early goal and use it to stretch CLG. Now, it was kind of surprising to see Miho take as much time as he would have. AJ shot, saved by Miho, can get yet another nice one. Time. Gonna try and keep going further, but you only have so much boost that you can use. And now another big challenge with oh, result man. in another goal. AJ has the brace. So I know this goes in for AJ, but that only goes in because Wonder is right behind this defender. He says, if you stop at all, Prime Thunder, oh, just going to shoot, almost top corner. FlyQuest just happy to show off what they're capable of in the final few moments of this game. Dapper needs to turn that one in, and that is going to be four goals to one. Well, everybody gets one. And if you're going to give it to anybody, you might as well give it to Dapper. He calls up Miho and says, look, man, it's an open net. I would like to feel good about myself at the end of this game. FlyQuest player there. So for Counter Logic Gaming, that's only really a good option if they're on low on boost. Oh, man. It's going to be a beef steal there from AJ. That means he can keep this going. Half rotate, sets it up off the back. Does he have it? Already oh, saw yes, this earlier. AJ is just a monster today. AJ is a monster indeed. This was disgusting. Wonder just beats him out of the midfield, and Dapper's like, I have a free clear. Hello. Tip of the cap. Finally put it in the back of the net. And FlyQuest has just done a brilliant job not giving almost any opportunities to CLG once they break out of the other oh, That's a great bump, though, and that will do it. You ask and you shall receive, Achieves. That is an incredibly important goal there from CLG. And it comes off a bump. We saw it earlier on from Dapper, who managed to bump, and then CLG got themselves a goal. They utilize it. Miho, take the shot, and Wonder already retained back. But that is a big block there. Timmy can keep this in the final third. Dapper all the way out. Timmy. There, off the backboard, nice Miho's going to put straight yes, down. Sir. And once again, the demos, crucial to CLG. And they finally start winning a couple of these challenges on the FlyQuest side. Timmy keeping that high out of reach of every FlyQuest defender. You're kind of hoping on a prayer to just even get a touch on it. Can move himself back in. Ten seconds remaining now. Prime Thunder setting himself up, but Mio has read it. He's going to try and look to get some blocks here. Keep the ball away from FlyQuest oh, and maybe pick up a third. Timmy with his first of the game, and that will secure game number four for Counter Logic Gaming. So what I learned is that I say that CLG, you know, they haven't really done anything on offense that matters in a really long time. AJ launching long. He's got Prime Thunder, who taps it straight down. Every single player involved, but the shot not quite on oh, target. No. And here we go to the counter. We go from the prettiest of plays to the most simplistic of plays, but only one of them mattered. And it, only one did matter. And again, it's that gravity effect out of the midfield. Wonder, he took a little bit of second uh, once he saw that pass coming off the back wall. Wonder now, back into the corner. FlyQuest with their chance. Prime Thunder just gets it all the way out. Half rotation from Wonder. He's got oh, an option, but down. his favorite option is himself. One goal apiece. And this is a very tough play to defend if you're in the net right here. Double commit from CLG in the corner makes it a little bit awkward. Dapper has to commit super early because he doesn't have anyone behind him. And the extra added bonus. Now Timmy to the corner. Prime Thunder 
Gonna try and take this the entire length of the pitch. Unchallenged. As Dapper just waits over. Now Miho, his shot is nice gonna shot. make it to the bottom right hand corner. He burrowed that one. You've got no chance of fear in the back in the net backwards like you are if you're AJ right now. This hard cross across the net, it goes near post, far post, it doesn't matter. You're not stopping that unless it's directly at you. But touching one. that, more bumping plays. But Prime Thunder has managed to recover and opened up some space. AJ's gonna try and chase this down. Nice read. Miho All the way by back out. Time. There There's is Wonder, Wonder two all! Two all and a great play. Critical for FlyQuest here. Mio made a great read on that first challenge, but Prime Thunder again, very fast out of the midfield, way out of reach of Timmy. Not the best read on that bounce either. Went for a very shallow angle. Prime Thunder all the way down to Wonder. Still two all, just under 45 seconds remaining. We're at PT. Silver goal territory. Prime Thunder yes, will sir. score it. And he, how about the placement for Prime Thunder on this one? He was waiting in the midfield. And Miho sticking himself in the net. He didn't go and try and cut this one down again, allowing a little bit of extra space. He gets there on that near post, maybe even starts waiting on the wall. And Follow it up. The more time he can waste, the better it is for his team. That's going to go just over the top. Miho ends up missing. That's going to allow FlyQuest to get oh, multiple players back, up. and everyone is stuck next to one another. Two goal lead for FlyQuest. They can go up to match points. Yeah, nothing needs to be said about what went wrong here. Everybody from CLG saying, wait, do you have it? No, I think he has it, but no one has it now and we've been scored on. So, uh, yeah. But straight into the middle, he's got AJ unchallenged. CLG happy just to put everyone back and not Ooh. react. Huge challenge win from Timmy, follows it up and he nice will shot. turn it into the back of the net. Just from one massive challenge. Just. Stole it away right off of Prime Thunder's nose. I mean, not the best of challenges from FlyQuest, but either way, if you're Timmy, we we have. Dapper wants to try and continue that trend, but instead it's going to be Miho taking over. Now Timmy can rotate in. It's going to take his time because AJ can't get there. Levers the shot into the top left-hand corner. 2-0 to CLG. And out of nowhere, the engine kind of coming back to life for CLG. A poor clear from AJ. Even worse, gives up the ball to Timmy. And you can try all you want, Wonder. There's, there's a lot to defend there. And Pace gets a demo. It could be on target, but it's just over to the left. One minute remaining. That's Two goals chances. to the better. And we could be heading into oh, game Dapper number seven. Going but forward. FlyQuest are going to have one more opportunity at this game. And this is just a big mistake. Timmy misses that ball. Dapper thought he had a touch, was preparing to go and get that bounce wherever it went after it. Dapper almost hit it negative. One more chance for FlyQuest. They have to keep this ball away oh, from the floor. Lift. AJ is up. AJ, He's going to turn it yes! low. What a goal from FlyQuest. <laughs> Let's head to overtime. How do you do it, FlyQuest? You got no time on the clock. A brilliant lift from Prime Thunder and the softest of touches from AJ. The kiss is the wheel. They had a two goal lead in this matchup. It's been brought back. And now that passing play could have been the end. Wonder all the way out. Prime Thunder can there get is. that for two, three. FlyQuest are in the RLCS. How do you do it? You go, you, you spend the whole game down two goals. You decide to turn the offense on in the last minute. You get a zero second goal to tie it up. Wonder goes out to the midfield from Prime Thunder.
going up just made the Allegiance offensive player believe that there was touch coming in just enough. Now off the backboard. It's going to be tapped down, and what a shot there from Mio. What a game he's having. Yeah, this shot here actually punishes a big double commit here from Allegiance. You see right there, Tyler, not Tyler, he goes up for the ball the same time as Seabass, and there's nobody there to follow up on that play. And no block means CLG can escape. And that's been a consistent trend in this game, a lack of 50-50s and pressure on the clears here coming from, from Allegiance. Oh, oh Lucian can get there, and Miho was blocked off. Two goals apiece, two goals remaining, or two minutes remaining. Take a look at this one. Seabass just sees Miho starting to come back, and I don't know if Miho could have got back anyway. But still, create chaos where you can. Off the side, Seabass needs to play this one well. He had two people right in front of him. And he's done incredibly well to take this to the midfield. Now he could probably set up one of his teammates. He does, and into the back of the net. Here, Seabass, he spots Tyler, not Tyler, coming up on the far side of that, all the way to his right, and he just waits for that pinch, and that is such a good play. Timmy is waiting to see Seabass. But this time around, being very centralized, and that could go the entire length of the pitch, forcing Dapper. I, I don't remember the last kickoff goal I saw that's just straight in from the very first touch, but this is going to be a long shot there from Ty not Tyler, just lifts it from the midfield and finds the net. Oh, and just... Great control there. He actually keeps that ball so close to him. The defender charged him immediately. They are noticing that player in the midfield and are happier to challenge. I could go the entire length of the pitch once again. And Miho, he will just tap that one in. That one goal lead did not last long at all. Oh, no, it did not. Here you see Ty not Tyler. He tries to find a Lucian out in the middle there, but putting that ball so far forward just makes that really an easy interference play. Miho up high. Gonna follow up his own touch. He's got off the backboard. Timmy already there. Looks for Miho. Can't quite get it, but Dapper will just come in. And that is a poacher's goal if I've ever seen one. Yeah, this is great predatory instincts here from Dapper. Seeing him come in pressure, even though he's got two teammates already committed towards the ball, he spots just how... With the ball in the final third, Miho gets enough with his challenge. Finally cleared, and Seabass taking his time. He's realized that Dapper is nowhere near. Can take it the entire way, but the second touch, not powerful enough. Second shot, though, from Tynar Tyler will be. And now we're at two goals apiece. Yeah, here, Seabass, even without the boost that he needs to make the play, there's a huge defensive error there from Timmy. You watch, he doesn't rotate straight back into the net. Field, Timmy was waiting around, but he wasn't on the right side. He was on the left. Now Seabass it's going to require one of his teammates if they want to get rid of this, but neither teammate able to read it. Now Dapper can go the entire length of the pitch. Great challenge from him. Seabass can't react to this. Three goals to two. Timmy scores. Oh, and one effort here from Dapper. Look at this air dribble. Oh, getting that dunk as well and bouncing off the post here. Unfortunately for Seabass, not much you can do there. That they have there. Why not get someone on the backboard? Why not? have someone that can be an option to either clear to or get up to those sort of challenges with much less boost used. Tyler, Tyler, he might have opened this up for Seabass! And once again, Quinn, a lead is immediately responded to. Yeah, here, the goalie just getting bumped all the way out of net there and missing that final touch. Allegiance having a very good overtime record throughout their season. But that is going to add to it. Seven seconds is all it took. Yeah, here, look at this touch from Ty Not Tyler coming up off the ceiling. Dapper, he goes for that aerial a little bit too far. He needs to be protecting his net there, and he's getting punished for it. He was in absolutely no man's land, and he would be more than happy to see that his opponents just couldn't make contact with the ball. Yeah, not just flat-footed, but no boost as well. Oh, poor Timmy. He is just getting bullied over in the back. And Seabass will make it a one-goal lead. Yeah, that's a great trap there. And also getting Dapper out of the way, there's a huge play. Just what a way for Allegiance to start this game off. And you know what? Yeah, you're right. I would not ask for anything else to round us out for North America this season. That's going to go long in time. Not Tyler can't do a thing about it. Miho gets himself on the board. And, and this was a good effort here, but there, you just see how dangerous it is to send that ball in off the corner and potentially give up a good clear if you don't have a player ready on defense. Timmy, sat on the goal line. He's going to get beat to this, and the shot was on target, but Miho 
who's playing the games of his life today, the savior there, but he oh, won't be able to do anything. Seabass runs head first and he will win the challenge. How many times have we seen him in this series go for these slow dribble plays? His 50-50 game has been excellent. What a play to take that lead back. It means that they can try and get this one away. Seabass just over the top. Only over to Dapper. Tyler, Tyler, he will take a shot of his own. It's Allegiance looking for space. They might have got it. Seabass creates his own space. Hat trick within two minutes. Yeah, here we see a big boost grid coming from Dapper. He goes all the way to that wave boost and then starts crossing the line and Timmy cannot get back in time. This whole team. Lucian. Lofting the ball up high, Seabass with the drop down, and Tyler Tyler, he's thinking about this one, and instead it's gonna be Seabass. Four goals, and only half the game played. Seabass is popping off. Yeah, seeing here, watching Miho going out of boost there, there's nothing he can do. Seabass going for that second follow-up. He started with four goals, and now we see Seabass. We've seen it from every single player today from Allegiance. It started off with Tyler Tyler, passed over to AJ, but it's gonna be Tapper with a phenomenal double tap. And it's a two goal difference with two minutes remaining. Yeah, that's still plenty of time to make this happen here. And that's just, oh, that's a first great touch there. And it's the first mistake from Seabass in a long time. But this two goal lead that they currently have. Miho off the backboard. Tyler, Tyler. He tries for it. He fails for it. The shot goes straight into the body of Seabass. Dapper with the follow up tries to drop it straight down from the arc. But the shot was too low. But this one off the crossbar eventually turned in. Dapper has turned this into a real match. Yeah, Dapper, this is a fantastic shot here. First, looking from Miho, you see that comes down off of the crossbar and just bouncing on that line there. Just holding on to their one goal lead, but barely. Now down to Timmy. Can't get it past the defender. Seabass just wants to get a block. That can turn its way all the way in. And now wipe the sweat from your brow there, Allegiance. You've just picked up a miracle goal. Yeah, this here, there is no way anybody from CLG could have seen that coming. Coming in underneath the ball, that's all that happened. But now they've got to find two within the next 40 seconds. Could be even further away as Tyler Tyler wants to try and chase that one down, but it's an open net. Why have Allegiance sent everyone forward with so little time remaining? They already had that goal secured. You're absolutely right. Sending so many players forward is a huge mistake as Ty Not Tyler, as the third man back there, it is just so important that he is able to secure his net. Yet again, an Allegiance with a one goal lead that they need to scrape to hold on to. That is an open opportunity. Dapper with the shot straight over to Timmy. Wants to put it straight down for Miho. Into the net, five goals all. Oh, this pass here is so good at the very end. It just completely demolishes this defense. You see here, Timmy, he expects that first shot Ty Not Tyler does, and Miho just lurking, waiting for that pass. Already up, he's challenged by Ty Not Tyler, who does win. Dapper gets blocked. Now Miho wants to take his time, but nobody here from Allegiance wants to give any space at all. That could be Ooh. in the net. Illusion, top left-hand corner. Illusion, look at this shot, just rifling it. Ty not Tyler, that pressure, he brings that ball up, off into the ceiling. And Timmy, there's nothing he can do to stop that ball. There is one game away, let's do this. Allegiance wants to try and finish this off on Urban, and that shot needed to be on target. The follow-up from Seabass on target, though. Six seconds, and Allegiance have a lead. Yeah, just starting this one off with a bang here. You see them both go for the ball, and Miho missing that aerial there. That was a very odd, very odd trajectory for him to go up there. From them tying this game up, but now they've got to start looking at the clock. Two minutes remaining here. Dapper. Tries to set it up, but there is nobody around. Timmy will be a distant second to that ball. Team play coming out. Incredible from Allegiance. Yeah, wow. Look at this guy. How fast this was able to build up Illusion. He spots his teammate to the right. Also baits in a defender, and that is just a wonderful pass there from Seabass. Could that be it? Two goals now. 100 seconds remaining. CLG need to find a response. Dapper just over the top, and it's over to Miho. Shot not on target. Double demo. Illusion by himself, this is a great opportunity now for CLG. That will be one goal brought back. Yeah, and that is how you do it, that double demo. Look at this. Oh, that first two, they just lined up for him. Dapper gets the goal from an incredible play from himself.